Where there is hatred, let us show love. The words of Madam Liz that resonated with those at a memorial service held over the weekend in Belize City. Gwendolyn Margaret Lizaraga Nee Smith died at age 73 back in June 1975, but was known for her role as an advocate for social justice and the empowerment of women. Madam Liz, or Gwen Liz, after whom the Belize City High School was named, was never afraid of a challenge, which coincidentally fits with this year's Women's Month theme. Here we have a woman who chose the challenge, not just herself, but her very existence. She chose to challenge herself to not, just start a, to not just start a woman group, UWG, United Women's Group, the women's arm of the People's United Party, which was established in February of 1959, but a group which made women inclusive in the decision-making within the political arena, a male-dominated arena at that. Over the weekend, the United Women's Group honored Madame Liz by laying wreaths at her grave. Lizaraga was the first elected female era representative and Minister of Education, Land and Housing. As we celebrate and honor the life of Madame Gwendolyn Lizaraga, who has set the foundation for what we women are now achieving as expert electrician, scientists, engineers, speakers of the House, President of the Senate, magistrate, judges, we need to recognize within ourselves the role models of the next generation. We breathe a breath of fresh air that mists from a strong, formidable woman. Together, we seek to live on her legacy of resilient leadership. Madame Liz's role was no accident. It was embedded in her. Her love for her country and people continued to reflect immensely in the work of women. It was while she headed the Land and Housing Ministry that the idea developed to build Belize Junior Secondary School Number 2, which was known as BJSS Known 2. Gwendolyn Lizaraga, Madame Liz, was unlike any other woman, and thus she became a woman to be admired. She was both a career woman and a mother. Madame Liz was always thinking about the poor and the sick, and thus aided in many areas where they were needed. She was once a probation officer in social development department. She helped women to acquire their own house and lot. Dwayne Moody for News 5.